Ciao and welcome to the one conversation. Today we're back in Abruzzo. So if you forgot what it is, we're right in the middle. And the one we're tasting is the Bianco Abruzzo. So why are you going to Abruzzo? Because in Abruzzo there are plenty of uh, great wines. And I'm from Abruzzo, so whenever I get I taste a good wine from Abruzzo, I'm always happy to tell you about it because it's a great region. Uh, we make great wines. Um, at one point we used to make a lot of bad wines, but luckily the quality has gone up, uh, plenty of new producers, a new approach, a new wine making philosophy, and now you can really get great, uh, great wines from, 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 from Abruzzo. So the wine we're tasting today is another Trebbiano Abruzzo. If you've been drinking wine for a few years, uh, you probably had already uh, plenty of Trebbiano Abruzzo in your um, in your wine drinking life. Uh, about 20 years ago, every single restaurant in the UK and outside uh, had the Trebbiano Abruzzo as a house wine, but it wasn't really anything uh, worth talking about. In fact, it shortly disappeared and got replaced by another another wine. Um, however, Trebbiano the Grape can make uh, outstanding wines and uh, this is a wine that I really love. So I'm really, really happy to be talking to you about this one. What makes this wine unique? I guess it's a combination of two things. First, the grape. I, I do believe that uh, great wines are made in the winery. You can only do so much in the winery. And the wine making process. So this wine is fermented in uh, cochopesto. Cochopesto is not argilla, it's a different material. It's a material that goes back to the Romans, but and is made by sand, uh, stones, uh, bricks, shaped into an uh, amphora uh, container. So the grapes come from 50 years old uh, vineyard, so single vineyard. So the older the vines, the better is the quality of the grape. The less is the quantity, but the better is the quality. And the result is an outstanding white wine. It's a white wine that I love because I love sipping it. It's a wine that I've got plenty of layers. It's a wine that needs to be, I would define that as a shy wine. So it's a wine that needs to come together. It's shy, it takes time, but once it does, you're gonna love it. So first and foremost, I'll say the temper of this wine. Don't drink this wine straight from the, from the fridge. Uh, way too cold, you won't get any of the flavors, any of the aromas, you just be drinking something refreshing uh, drink. So temperature wise, anything above 13, 14, that uh, You see the wine coming together only when you reach uh, that temperature. The wine maker suggests between 10 and 12, I probably say I wouldn't mind 12 a couple of degrees warmer because you really get to appreciate all the different layers. So on the low, on the on the color, there is no aging other than the, the, the aging in the bottom, so it's very light, okay. On the nose, elegant, delicate, floral, white flowers, chamomile. On the back, I'm starting getting the sweetness of the white fruit, so apricots, peaches, beautiful, plenty of, uh, plenty of aromas, but very delicate. So you can get them, you need to go and get them. They're not gonna be on your face. That is what makes uh, another plus, another uh, thing I enjoy of this one. I need to sweat the one and then go inside. Go with my nose and get the flavors. On the palate, first thing that really strikes you about this wine when you drink it is the minerality. It's there, it's big, and then followed by fruit. If the nose was floral, here we go, fruit, and I say we got tropical fruit. So again, big, 
Plankovic, but delicate at the same time, elegant with a lovely acidity. Uh, beautiful Trebbiano Abruzzo. Uh, it's a wine that you want to drink with fresh cheeses. Uh, I'm thinking uh, burrata, uh, mozzarella di bufala, um, or fish, very delicate fish dishes. Um, or just sip like a normal, like a, a long doing it, just sip after sip, and you see that the more says in the glass, every sip would be different from the previous one. It's a great Tribunal Abruzzo. Forget everything, all the bad Tribunal Abruzzo you had in your life, and rethink the great because you can make a really outstanding one. That's one of them. Salute!